Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to progress a deal in HubSpot when document is signed in DocSign which means that whenever we send a document to a person, a client or a customer and that person completes the work which means signs the document, a deal will be updated in HubSpot. So we are going to create an automation for this process by integrating these two applications in such a way that here our trigger will be the document signed in DocSign and our action will be to update a deal in HubSpot and we are going to do this with the help of Fably Connect. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn that how you can update a deal in your HubSpot that has already been created over here whenever a document in DocSign is signed. So let us quickly sign in into our automation software so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. And we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on Access Now, which will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you can see a big blue button on your right side where it's written Create Workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Progress a deal in HubSpot when document is signed in DocSign. Click on Create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. Here you will see the two major modules of Pabli Connect on which the whole workflow will be working. Before that, I would like to remind you to open your HubSpot account and also your DocSign account in separate tabs so that you can connect them with Pabli Connect nicely and easily and also you can cross check your activities whichever you're going to perform. So let us understand the functioning of trigger and action. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. Which means that trigger is going to be the first application where the event will take place manually. Which means that we are going to create or make that event happen like signing of the document will be the trigger and the action application where the action will be performed automatically because of the trigger which is caused by this first application. So let us choose our trigger application as DocuSign and here the event will be configure webhooks. Now if you read it carefully it says triggers on various events like envelope sent or completed which means that configuring webhook will make sure that any activity taking place in DocSign will be recorded and sent over here as a response. So while setting up this workflow, we need to make sure that when you connect or integrate this webhook URL with Pabli Connect, then you need to make the changes of this envelope recipient fields where we will make sure that only the signed document details will be sent over here. So let us learn, follow these instructions in order to learn this webhook URL integration. Go back to your DocSign and come over here. I have already uploaded this one. I'm going to discard it because we are going to begin from the scratch. Now go to settings in your DocSign account. And here from the left panel, you will find integrations. Click on connect under integrations and then add configuration. Click on custom and here you will find a form that you need to fill. The status of the connection is active. The name you can give at HubSpot Deals Update. You can customize the name by yourselves. Then the URL to publish. So I'm going to put this webhook URL copied from here and paste it in the URL to publish. Now once this is done, you can add the configuration from here. But we need to make some changes like when you scroll down, you will find envelope and recipient. Open this and the envelope signed or completed is the condition where you want it to be working. Close this template or you can also scroll down and include data. So what all data you want over here in the response that you also need to set over here. You want the document settings, you want the attachments and also the folders and recipient. These can be customized and you can change it according to your own need. So when you have made these changes, close these drop down menus and click on add configuration. The configuration has been added. See HubSpot deals update and over here is the ID and the status of this integration is active right now. So now we will see that it's waiting for a webhook response. So what needs to be done? Now you will go to your application and then do a test submission or record of the trigger. So let us come back to our home page. Upload a document over here and then send the document to your customer or your client from where on the other email address there the person will sign the document and that will make sure that you receive a response over here. So start now, create an envelope, add a document from your files or from wherever you want. I am going to put this offer letter. Now this offer letter is uploaded. I will add recipient over here. So like this is my person. This is the email address of the person and this is the name of the person who needs to sign this document. Now a mail will be sent to this email address of the person along with this document and that person will sign the document and that is our trigger event. Now once all of this is done, 
click on next over here and here you have to select signature from here and mark where you want the signature like i will mark it over here that i want the signature at this specific place now once this is done click on send and the envelope will be sent see you have sent your first envelope now this was my new account and this was the my first envelope that i just sent so once it is sent it's still waiting for the response because we made the settings of this webhook integration that the envelope will be signed and completed only then we will receive a response so i also have the email address of that specific person where we sent the document to so let us open the account and see here you have complete with doc sign of a letter so you have received this over here and now we will open this and now i will have to click on continue and sign over here so here i will click and what is my sign whichever sign i want to choose i will choose that one adopt and sign now this is signed over here now this is already signed if you want to change you can make the changes like this and ready to finish i will click on finish and it is completed the document that was sent to me is signed which is completed our trigger event is done coming back to pabli connect let us wait for the webhook response you will be receiving in the next 2 to 3 minutes and here we have received the response you see the event is envelope completed the summary status is also completed you will get the details of the person over here the email address of the person and also the signing status that is completed so this is a proof that our work has been done perfectly and also this complete response is also a proof that our work has been done properly now all of this is done and you will also receive the document name over here now there is this one chance that you need to pay attention to first of all find the name of the document that you have shared with that client or customer see this is the name of the document of a letter dot pdf now what is what happens if all the documents that i have sent to multiple or different people are signed i don't want the response or automation for them that the deal has been updated or not so i'm going to put a filter over here for the name of my document that only and only the deal has to be updated in your hubspot in the given case that offer letter dot pdf document is signed okay now this filter over here is a choice for you i'm going to put this filter for my document of a letter dot pdf because i only want the responses for this specific document if there is any other document with any other different name that gets signed i don't want the response to be received over here because maybe i don't want to update the deal for that given situation so i'm going to create this automation only for these kind of documents so i will put the filter over here as the name is summary envelope documents name so here i will select the same this is the one should be equal to this name only copy it and paste it over here okay so this is the filter that i have set click on save and send test request and see the response will say it's a success which means that the condition i have provided is satisfied in this given situation that we are going to create the workflow for right now okay so only if a document gets signed and this trigger receives a response over here this filter will make sure that only offer letter documents are proceeded in this workflow if the document name is not offer letter then this won't proceed so let us close this window and now let us search for our hubspot deal now since we have sent a document for signing to our client or customer we might already have a deal created in your hubspot so like this is my hubspot account and user demo is the name of my deal that is the same name that i have used for the person whom i sent the document to for signing so i have created this deal and the stage of our deal is contract sent over here okay so first of all we are going to search this deal so i chose my action application as hubspot crm the event will be first of all to search for a deal because first we will get the information of the deal and then we will update that specific deal click on connect add new connection and connect with hubspot crm now choose your account because you have already opened your account you just have to choose what account you are using and click on choose account and it is automatically connected now and now you have to enter details like what is the matching property you want so the matching property in my case is deal name my deal name is the one that i will be relating to should be equal to what the search value will be user demo so i'm going to put it in the search and map data and this is the name so the matching value is the matching property is deal name so the deal name should be equal to user demo okay this operator makes that sure what is the output property i want so i also want the deal name 
then I want the deal stage then I also want the amount okay so these are the three output properties that when the deal is found in your HubSpot account I want the name amount and deal stage in the responses click on save and send test request and see and see we have received a response over here this is the deal id which is required because we are going to update the deal with no name but the same id that we have received over here now the name of the deal okay and the stage is contract sent now you see the format of the stage written over here it's written in all small and with no space in between contract sent and the next stage is going to be what closed one or closed lost whichever way your situation is because it is signed so it will be closed one okay so we are going to put that when we update the deal so we have received the information over here the properties amount everything that we requested for is given to us now click on this plus button and let us add the last and the most important step of our workflow that is going to be for updating the hubspot deal so choose in the search bar update deal click on connect you need not go to add new connection because you just use that same hubspot account in this workflow select existing connection and click on save once this is done you need to map the deal id over here so activate this map button and erase this whatever id is here and then select your hubspot crm and map this result id that is your deal id so this is the id of the deal that you are working upon this user demo one now what is the currency no need to enter all these details what is the most important part of our workflow is the updating of our deal stage so here we are going to write closed one see all small and no gap in between no space in between now all of this is done amount and all if you want to map you can map it is not going to change deal name also you can put over here it is not necessary because only that will change that we will enter over here otherwise nothing else will change now all of this is done click on save and send test request and your deal will be updated so we have received the response over here with the deal id the property amount and also the stage over here says closed one okay make sure you remember how we are going to write the stage of the deal over here and this says that yes our work is done so let us close this window now the last step of our workflow and let us go to our hubspot to check were we able to update the deal from here or not and here we are let us refresh it and see the stage now says closed one which means that we were able to update our hubspot deal once a document is signed over here to the person whosoever it is sent to the filter step over here is optional if you want to put a filter for the document name then you can it was my choice that i can do it even if you don't put this step this workflow will still run perfectly fine so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.